Hey everyone, this is David Pike, the Motor City Mechanic, back with another video. Now today we're going to be talking about a specific code. That's P as in Papa, 1, D as in Delta, 73. That's P1, D, 73, right here. We got the AGS Active Grill Shutter Performance. I'm going to tell you what it is, what it's used for, and what to look for. And you may not even have to replace anything to fix it. Check it out. So today we're going to be talking about the AGS system, which is the active grill shutter. You see that mainly on the newer Ram pickups, depending on what package it came with. Basically what it's for is for aerodynamics, which in turn help increase fuel economy, which is we want to always get the fuel economy as high as possible so that way we have more selling features, save fuel, everything. It's a win-win. That's where the active grill shutters come into play. Uh, what we do there is at certain speeds, there's shutters right behind the front grill that were closed. As they close, air no longer goes through the grill. Instead, it goes up over the hood, up over the vehicle. So that's what that is. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a few extra parts off because I want you to see exactly how this system works. I'm going to take the front grill assembly off. Now, that I'm going to specifically mention that in the video. You do not have to take this off. I'm doing it so that you can see how it works, what it looks like, because the means that you're going to be working on it, it's kind of a tight clearance, you can only see so much, so if you watch the video, you'll see how they operate, because at one point I'm going to actuate it when I'm done to see if they still work properly, or if I have any more problems with the shutters, we're going to watch them open, we're going to watch them close, and I'm going to show you how the mechanism works. I'm actually going to take it off the vehicle, sit it on a bench, and show you how I re-engage the linkage. So right now I'm giving a little way too much information, right? Well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and start working on this. I'm going to show you what to take off and what to look for, and then we'll go through each one of these steps. Now the active grill shutter system is located right behind the front grill assembly. I want to show you how you can get to it without taking too much off and looking at it. But for the sake of argument, so that you can see it clearly, I'm going to go ahead and take the front grill off. So that way you can see the shutter assembly and we can visually see if there's a problem but I also will bring up the point that you can do it without taking the front grill off. And please excuse the noise in the shop today, we've got a lot going on. I thought it was kind of an important topic, decided to grab the camera, otherwise I can't just wait for everybody else to stop. So let's go ahead and get started with getting that upper closeout panel off so that I can show you where the system is and what we're looking for to see what possibly set that code. Now the closeout panel that's right above the radiator but just behind the grill it's held in place of a total of six Christmas tree fasteners that just push down. Now I'm just going to be using a trim stick tool. This is a metal one. This happens to be angled. They come in different shapes, sizes. Uh, this is the one I prefer. I can get up under the edge and just with a little bit of a rocking motion, pop it off. I can go down the line. Like I said, once we get all six off, we can take this pin off and we'll have better access. Alright, so the shutter assembly goes right up under this support piece right here. You got your radiator here, AC condenser, you got a void right here. Right by the void in between the grill in there is actually where the shutter assembly is. And it goes the whole height of the grill and the whole width. You'll notice we've got a couple of doors that aren't matching the position of the rest of them. So if you think of this as quadrants, you know, this quadrant over here, they're all facing this way, work your way down. If we get to this side, we've got a couple of doors that are somewhat closed. Um, they should move together. Um, these right here are moving independently. So what is probably more than happening is on the back side there is a mechanism that all these doors snap into and then there's a motor slash actuator that controls them. What has probably happened is these doors have come out of the snaps and what we've got to do is we got to reinstall them. We also want to pay close attention to make sure there's no damage to the snaps so we don't have to replace the whole assembly. If all we've got to do is reinstall them, snap them in and verify operation, we'll be good to go. Uh, from time to time something could get in here, some kind of debris, bug, whatever, and when the door was trying to actually open or close it could have bound it and popped these loose. So it isn't necessarily a, fa uh, necessarily a failed part, but that's what we need to do to make sure we don't need to replace anything. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera in just a second, and what I'm going to do is the shot you're going to see is me facing straight downward. Uh, you'll have the AC condenser on the top side of the screen, and you'll have the shutter assembly on the bottom. And you'll see the linkage and what I'm going to be looking for to see how it come unloosed. 
and we'll also get a little bit closer look as well but the next view is going to be straight down so that way you don't get confused you know which way the camera is oriented and where everything is all right so we're looking straight down in between the shutter assembly and the ac condenser and if you look right here each one of these are the doors that open and close and right here is where they're all supposed to snap on and the actuator and motors right there as you can see it's 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 cocked right here it's actually done coming up and that's where these doors are no longer snapped into place so we've got to position this track assembly to where these align up and gently press it down until it snaps and then go down the line and verify the rest of them in place and that none are getting ready to come out like i said this is how you can see it without taking that grill off it's a little limited access but you can get to it without taking too many parts off the vehicle but that's what we're looking for we want to make sure to see if this come loose and it did the uh, passenger side over here is still snapped in. It's the upper two on the driver's side that's come loose. It's actually caused that code to happen. Because when this comes up, the portion of the actuator motor that locks into this comes out as well. So then it's no longer moving the shutter assembly. So two pop out, eventually it causes the link on this to pop out as well. So we've got to line all that back up and there's snaps for each one. Now what I went ahead and did is I took the whole assembly off and I've got it sitting over here on the workbench. Now, like I said, you do not have to take this off. This is just me helping you by giving you that visual explanation of what's going on. You're going to be working from straight down. You're going to snap it back to place. You're not going to take everything off. Uh, I just still wanted to show you closely exactly how it snaps on. I want that camera angle to be perfect. I want you to see as if you were shrunken down and putting that tight compartment and able to see what's going on so like i said do not take this off unless you're replacing it at this point we don't need to replace it we're just diagnosing and repairing the code and then we're going to verify that it's working so i'm going to go ahead and move on to showing you how to snap them on and how to pay attention to make sure everything's lined up so all right so i got it repositioned so you can see it a little bit better as you can see there are little snaps this one here as you go down the line you can see the little u-shaped portion that's where the actual door itself will snap in so I've got to reposition each one of the ones that came loose and I also got to go a little further up because this one right here in between these two doors is actually the length for the actuator so that's got to be in place so I'm going to go down the line make sure everything looks good as I'm lining them up I'll push down till they snap in place and then I'll go back and recheck each one of them so let's go ahead and line them up rotate them Right. And double check the rest of them. Alright, so let's go ahead and get them in position. Lift up on the, the linkage. Line everything up. Get them close and kind of go down the line make sure the rest of them. I can grab each one of them, push down. I heard the double snap. That was that one snapping in place and that one. And I go back and recheck the rest of them. So now they are in the appropriate corresponding position on that linkage so before we finish any repair we want to make sure everything's working fine set the grills off just so that I can show you the operation of the active grill shutters I've got a scanner that can actuate the doors and that's what we're going to be doing next I want to go to full close it's going to take a second or two for it to happen but keep your eye on the doors and you'll watch them go full close if everything's working fine All right, keep watching it. There they go. All right, all the doors and shutters look to be operating correctly. Nothing popped loose. We'll go to full open now. And if you pay attention to the shutters, uh, as you see, they're rotating now. All of them are moving together, so that's going to be full open. We got full close, full open. Everything's still snapped in place. Everything looks good. We'll work on clearing the code and putting everything back together and getting the vehicle back to the customer. So for whatever reason, those shutters come loose from that linkage. Nothing visually is showing up right now. Snap back in place, actuating them. They're opening and closing fine. Uh, basically, like I always say, we'll see over time how things go. If the light comes back on, then we'll start replacing things right now, snapping it back in place. Maybe the only repair we have to do. Something could have got wedged in there. Who knows? Piece of debris, a twig, a small animal. Who knows what was in that location when it happened? Nonetheless, we tried something. Um, we'll just have to monitor and see. If it happens again, like I said, replacement's gonna be the next step. So, 
At this point, this for Ask Frank and a thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget you can like me on Facebook. You can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. If you got any comments or suggestions about today's video on that specific code or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, please feel free to email me and I'll try to get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, thanks for watching all these videos, everyone. I'm a gold day, Thomas on that cherry six-four. White walls so clean like I'm riding.